Joining me right now with his reaction is the Secretary of Labor, Eugene Scalia. And, Secretary, it's great to have you back here today. Your reaction to where we are today based on these numbers. Well, uh, 2.1 million more going into unemployment, it's, it's, it's a large number. And we do have to, again, acknowledge that this is a challenging time for uh, workers across the country. And, uh, but we are reopening. Uh, that uh, continuing claims number is, is uh, heartening, uh, uh, lower than expected, um, a uh, 3.9 million drop now. Uh, there's some anomalies in those numbers, uh, a couple states accounting for the drop, by and large. But even you take those out, any way you look at it, continuing claims have dropped. It's what we want. It's what we'd expect as we reopen and, as Dagan says, uh, reopen safely. Well, let's talk about that reopening. How significant uh, do you think it's going to be in terms of impacting growth, broadly speaking, Secretary? Because it's going to be a while before we get out of this. Do you believe that it's more of a 2021 affair in terms of normalizing, or is it 2022? I think we can make a lot of headway this year, uh, Maria. I think uh, we can start now. We're seeing it. I had the uh, opportunity to be down in Florida, Georgia, uh, with the vice president last week. Those are states that uh, opened up earlier uh, than many. And uh, part of the good news is that we're not seeing, uh, as of now, the spikes in the return of the virus in those states that, uh, that have reopened. So we'll learn a lot in, in the weeks ahead. But as you and I have discussed before, uh, we put so many, so many people on unemployment back in uh, March, April. Uh, and there's an opportunity now to return millions upon millions in, in the next few weeks as, as we do reopen. Meanwhile, it looks like any changes to the Paycheck Protection Program are going to sort of drag on uh, because we know that House Democrats have revised legislation to overhaul the PPP forgivable loan program in advance of a, of a House passage uh, of the measure today. But the House is expected to approve it, but the Senate is not simply going to accept that bill. What's your take on the changes we may see from PPP? Do you want to see the amount of time that people have to spend the loan uh, so that it's forgiven? You want to see that longer than eight weeks? Well, Maria, as, as you're noting, there have been a number of people, particularly in the restaurant industry, that have said, geez, eight weeks isn't quite enough to uh, uh, get people back to work and, um, and be in position to uh, uh, have that loan forgiven. They want it extended a bit. And that's something we're looking at. Um, it, but on the whole, that's been, I think, a really remarkably successful program. We estimate about 50 million American workers uh, have uh, been able to stay on payroll as a result of the program. And, and, and again, for me, the headline is that we are now in the month of May heading into June uh, reopening. And we'll learn a lot more in the next few weeks about what additional measures uh, if any, what additional measures might be uh, suited to uh, target a reopening economy? The CARES Act was for an economy that was closing. As we re reopen, uh, I think uh, different approaches will be in order. Yeah, and, and one of those approaches has people talking about the Small Business Administration program because they think that uh, business people, Wall Street investors, believe that this program is at real risk uh, because of the faulty drafting of the implementing legislation for the paycheck program. Uh, to us at Cowan and Company, they say the program ultimately will be needed to help the recovery from COVID-19 crisis, so it needs to be disentangled from the paycheck program. Will it be disentangled? Well, uh, again, we'll take a look at that. We've uh, had an opportunity to watch these programs in operation uh, for a period of weeks now. Uh, the CARES Act was really an extraordinary piece of legislation enacted uh, so quickly by the president and Congress. I think it's uh, served its purposes uh, quite well, by and large, uh, when we were a, a closing economy. Uh, but there have been some challenges we've seen in practice, and it, it does make sense uh, to take stock of those and uh, examine whether some refinements need to be made going forward. Uh, but let me emphasize so also, uh, Maria, let me just, just to emphasize how important now is to focus, too, on helping businesses uh, reopen and, 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 and invest. Uh, we, what we want is entrepreneurs investing in this reopening economy as well. Yeah, and that's why the administration is trying to make it easier for businesses to 
uh, to invest and, and, and create growth. Last month, we saw a record 20.5 million jobs lost, the unemployment rate reaching 14.7%. And we're expecting that the unemployment rate is actually much higher than that, given these numbers today. Would you equate an unemployment rate at 16 or 17 percent today? Well, uh, when we put our report out uh, earlier this month, Maria, we indicated that one way of looking at the data was that the number could be closer to uh, 19 or 20. Um, so we'll see that report uh, a week from tomorrow. Uh, but it wouldn't surprise me if the number... Uh, reported then we're uh, up around uh, that figure, recognizing again uh, that will reflect uh, where we were as of uh, mid-May as the reopening was just yeah. getting underway. This situation has just been so fluid, as you know. Wow, 20 percent unemployment rate. That hurts. What's the possibility of a payroll tax holiday to ease the economic strain? I mean, you just said a moment ago, look, the CARES Act was a relief package. We're going to need new solutions going forward. Is that one of them? Does the administration go back to its playbook of 2017 when they released uh, tax legislation, cuts and, and, and deregulation? Is that the same playbook or is there something different? Well, I think this administration's playbook, uh, Maria, worked extraordinarily well. You and I have talked about this before, about what the projections were before President Trump was elected uh, for the economy and what actually happened. Um, we just had this extraordinary economy until a couple months ago, the virus hit. And that was, as you're saying, the product of tax cuts, deregulation. President signed an order last week uh, reinforcing the importance of uh, reducing unneeded burdens on business as we reopen the economy and get it going again. The president made it work once. Uh, we can make it work again. Uh, and that's part of the reason that, that I'm uh, more optimistic than some about what we can achieve even this year in, uh, in getting things going again. Do you, do you think we could get the unemployment rate below 10 percent by the end of the year? Uh, Mar Maria, I, I, I think that's, uh, that's achievable. Uh, it, it, obviously, there are a number of things that will depend on. Uh, we know that many people uh, are in a position to start going back to work. We, we, we're accustomed to talking about job losses, but uh, a lot of those jobs are still there. And if we can uh, get back to work promptly, safely, uh, we have a chance of coming out of this more quickly than uh, downturns we've had in the past, because this one was self-imposed. It was uh, meant to be temporary. And I, and I do think that right. getting that unemployment number around 10 percent this year is, is within the realm of what is achievable. Secretary Scalia, it's good to see you as always. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Maria.